Double Tree by Hilton in Fiji. I'm here for a week and it is the most amazing stay. I'm going to show everything for you from the entrance all the way through to the whole resort. But for the moment, I've got all of the staff here. So say hi, everyone. Okay, so here I am at the entrance to the Doubletree by Hilton Resort in Fiji. It is about a 35 minute ride from Nandi International Airport. And this hotel is a bit different or resort is a bit different to many other resorts around here because the actual resort is on that strip, that island just there. And we are gonna have to take a little two minute boat ride across there to the reception area of the hotel. Come with me, let's check it out. How beautiful is this? This is Fiji in winter. Wow. Okay, so here we go. We're about to check in across the other side and I've just been welcomed by my boat driver. How cool is that? Okay, so here we go. We're now on the okay. other side of that entrance there. That takes us here to the other side of the island and the Double Tree by Hilton. This is the actual entrance to the hotel. How cute is that? This transfer boat runs 24 hours a day and it's available to staff and guests that are staying here. So we're going to head to the lobby now so that we can have a look at check-in and what's there. And then I'll take you around the ground so that you can actually have a look around. Bula Bula! Bula Bula! How Good, how are you? Good. How friendly are the people here? Bula, hello! Bula. Bula, have a good afternoon. Thanks, you too. So Bula is hello and Vinaka is thank you. They're the two words in Fijian that I've got so far. So this is the reception area and the entrance to the hotel where you check in. There are porters and carts that will take you all around the resort as this is a pretty big resort to get around, especially if you've got luggage. And they have all these signs up that post different things that they've got going, different activities at the at this resort. Sorry, are we following you all? So check this out. This beautiful tropical resort area. There's little shops that you can buy stuff at, from clothing to snacks, jewellery, gifts and souvenirs. And then that there is the reception area. I actually checked in yesterday, so the check-in was really swift. They had my Hilton Honours number as well. Um, so it was really easy to check in for me to get my points because I always recommend getting points when you're staying somewhere in any hotel. Um, this here, you can reserve any of the activities and sunset cruises and stuff that you wish to go on. On this side here, they've also got day tours and things that they do and then Come with me and check this out. On the other side of the reception area is the main pool and bar and restaurants. One on one side, the other on this side here. So come with me and I'll show you around. Little cafe. Everything is surrounded by the pool. So this is where you have your buffet breakfast, lunch and dinners that are available. Heaps of seating for everyone. And I had my breakfast here this morning. It's an all American buffet style breakfast with everything, teas, coffees and hot chocolates and everything included as well. Come and have a look at this. So 
So you've got the swimming pool that's all around here. And just over the other side of the swimming pool is the beach. This is 28 degrees Celsius in the middle of winter. How amazing is this? I feel so blessed that I am here for work. So if you've got any questions about this hotel, send me a DM or make a comment and just ask me. So I actually checked in last night and this is how the room looked when I got in. It is a double king bureau room. So it's actually like a little resort hut or villa style that's ocean front. And this room here has two king beds in it and it's also got a study area or desk which is just underneath the tv room for your bags and it's got a separate wash area to the actual bathroom and shower it has all of the crabtree and evelyn soaps shampoos and conditioners that are available to you it's a really spacious room but i think the best thing is the deck area obviously you can't see it now because it's at night but when you wake up and open up those curtains and you've got a little deck area which is right in front of the ocean that is it the next morning so this is what i actually woke up to and it is stunning i had my morning coffee here every day i did some work and it is literally right in front of the ocean and the sun sets right in front of you as well. It is a really peaceful and tranquil resort. Couldn't hear much noise at all. It was just so quiet and lovely. And the restaurant area and the swimming pool is far away enough that you have peaceful, quiet time when you get to your resort villas or your little rooms. It was a really pleasant stay here and I recommend it for anyone. So if you have a look here, these are the little buggies and they've usually got a porter in there and they'll take you anywhere around the resort because if you're staying in one of the little huts that's like numbers 42 to 52 and beyond, it can take about five to seven minutes walk to get from your hut all the way to the restaurant and the pool area here. So these guys just drive around and you can jump in whenever you feel like. Now we're going to go towards a really special part of the resort and this one's for the kiddies. So here back close to the entrance is the tennis court and check this out, the all important kids club for the kiddies to have fun at while they're here. Heaps of different things that they can go on, just an outdoor area for them to have fun. Okay, so if you go along this walkway, all the way from the swimming pool and the restaurant, all the way along down here, you'll see that there are some of these huts, or berets as they're called, that are right on the ocean front. That's mine there. And that's the next one opposite. They are dual berets. So you, I've got my room on this side and then someone else's on the other side. But then you can see that it is direct ocean views. In between here, the berets directly opposite also have ocean views, but they're just facing a little, they're a little bit back and they're on the other side of the footpath. Okay, so do you wanna come with me and let's go and have a look at my beret or hut that I am staying in. I actually did arrive yesterday, so I've sort of opened everything up and I've looked around at stuff in the hotel room, but at least you'll be able to get an idea of what it looks like. So I'll flip the camera around for you to see. And now it is late afternoon. So the views, it's gonna be sunset soon. The views are amazing. This is a double king beret. You've got space here for your luggage and your shoes, a desk, TV, kettle, and a little lounge area. But this is the part that is just so beautiful. I have spent this afternoon recording videos here and editing some of my videos as well. And I couldn't have got a more perfect location to sit at. 
How beautiful is this? Ocean front villas. This is just stunning. So this is what I'm looking at for a week here in Fiji. It is just beautiful. I also wanted to show you quickly what the sunsets looked like here. Each night was something different and so beautiful. Okay, so you can't really see because it's sort of dark here, but I'm at the buffet. So at the Double Tree by Hilton, every night of the week, they have a buffet that has a different theme or a different style of food to it. Tonight, Monday, is Asian theme night, and I am eating, not sure if you can see it here, but I've got a Sri Lankan fish curry. Let's try it. Oh my God, delicious. It has a really light curry flavor, so it's not too heavy or strong, and um, just really nice spices with it. I've also got the prawn seafood Singapore noodles and a Thai vegetable curry. <coughs> Delicious. Every night of the week is something different so I'm going to try a couple of different nights and let you know how it tastes. Say hi everyone! And I think we have one more staff member there, yay! Hello! So you can get everything here from like snacks and bits and pieces that you need throughout your stay, some drinks, and then they've got lots of gifts that you can take home with you. The real piece of Fiji is on this side. It is uh, a handicraft section. That you can see on these uh, walls here. They are locally carved by our local craftsmen. And uh, if you buy an item from this uh, from this section, you are helping the local craftsmen. That's really good to know. Thank you. Inaka. Every night my favourite thing here has been to sit in front of the ocean and just watch the sunset. Each night's sunset has been so unique and one more stunning than the other. And in the distance here you can see those lights, that's Denarau Island. So that's another part of the island that we're on and it's actually closer to Nandi International Airport. And after the sunset watching every night we've gone and had dinner at the restaurant here and it's just by the pool and it's so beautiful just to see the pool area lit up at night and there's the DT for Doubletree by Hilton this resort is really special and I highly recommend it for anyone whether you're a family traveling for leisure or even a business traveler like me, you can spend the whole time just in your balcony area working and enjoying the views. And it's time to finally say goodbye after a beautiful stay in Fiji. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more travel related videos, including first and business class airline reviews, luxury hotel stays and more, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you can come along with me for the ride. Also, please comment below or email me if you would like more information about anything travel related or if you would like me to help you organize your next luxury holiday. I travel full time and I want my experiences to inspire you. Remember, the journey is the destination. See you soon.